Okay guys, so welcome back to the Everyday Makeup Drawer series. This is my everyday makeup drawer for the month of July. I know we're getting a little late start, but um, this month has just been super crazy. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first thing. This is the Morphe 35F palette. So this is all shimmers and then this row is all mattes. Let me get it in frame for you guys. Um, I love this. I got this off of Hot Look, um, and it came with three brushes that I am actually really enjoying as well. So like I said, this is all shimmers except for this row, which is mattes, but I love this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and Morphe is a pretty like affordable brand, so I really like that as well. So here are all my little compartments. Um, over here, I have my like tools, eyebrows, eyeliners. Um, that doesn't go over there and mascaras. I don't, you know, I have scissors. I have my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Um, I have these new Essence mascaras that I recently talked about in a video. The Volume Stylist mascaras. These are the new ones. Um, the Lash Extension and the Curl and Hold. I love both of these. I have my Brow Precise from Maybelline. I have my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, like I said. NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, and then for my brows, I have this NYX Eyebrow Gel in chocolate. This I use on like the outside of my brows, and then this is the um, e.l.f. pencil and taupe that I use on the inner part of my brows. I have my Milani Stay Matte or Stay Put Matte 17 Wear Liquid Eyeliner in black. This is the best liquid eyeliner ever, you guys. It is seriously so black, so matte, and it does last a really long time. I have this. This is the new Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in third actual shade. Silky Nude. So I haven't actually tried this yet. I just picked this up today at a store near me called Meyer. You guys know that I love my Essence Gel Eyeliner, the brown one. So I saw a nude one, and this isn't the same line. This is the Extreme Lasting, but I thought I would give it a try. It says it's Easy Glide and Waterproof, so we will see about that. Um, this is my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Lush. This is just a brown eye pencil that's really great. Um, and then I have my Duo Lash Glue, Pencil Sharpener, Razor, e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal, which I use every single day, and then some tweezers. Over here, I have some face things. Let me bump these up a little bit for you guys so you guys can see the whole thing. Um, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I have a lot of Essence stuff this month. This I haven't used in a while, and so I pulled it out, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. I kind of rediscovered it during my highlight declutter. This is the NARS The Multiple in Copacabana. This is a, like, icy cool toned color. It's just like a highlight stick, but you can kind of use it everywhere on the face. I've only used it once and I really like it. I just got a, like a little travel size and a gift from Ulta. So I like it. It's good. I don't know if I would go out and buy it, but it's all right. This is my e.l.f. contour palette. Again, this is something I kind of rediscovered. I love this contour palette, you guys. It is the best. It comes with a nice mirror. Um, it comes with like a satin highlight, a yellow setting powder, a bronzer, and a contour. It is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And they do have one for darker skin tones now. I have the pressed powder, the Super Stay Better Skin from Maybelline. I have the shade Porcelain. Um, I love this. It does come with a sponge, but the sponge went bye-bye a long time ago. Um, I like to set my entire face with that. I also have been really kind of trying this. This is the Model's Own Translucent Powder. Really pretty packaging. I don't really like that you have to like take the top off like that because powder gets everywhere. I wish it was like a twist top. But it's good. It's not my favorite setting powder, but it's okay. Back here, I have my Flower Pot Blushes from Flower Beauty. These are probably my all-time favorite drugstore blush. They are so beautiful, last a long time, buildable, smooth. Love those. You can find those at Walmart or flowerbeauty.com. Over here, I have some face things. So I just picked this up today as well. This is the Essence color correcting stick in touch up effect. It's just like a peachy 
crayon. Um, I haven't tried it, but I am excited to. I think um, hopefully it's a good corrector. Um, what else? Okay, I have my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I like to use this on blemishes. For under the eyes, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear. Again, I just kind of rediscovered this in my drawer and was like, I haven't used that in a long time. And it is one of the just like classic good concealers. It's amazing. Um, this I also picked up today. This is the Essence I Heart Strobing Highlighting Eyeshadow Base. I love the eyeshadow bases from Essence, and this one has a shimmer to it, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to try, because I love doing all over, like, shimmer looks this time of year. I think it's really pretty, so I'm excited to try that. Oh, I meant to put this over here, too. This is the, also new, this is the Essence 2-in-1 Shadow and Liner. Um, I had the, um peach one, the like highlight one, the like it's the lightest one, it's like champagne color, and then I have the taupe one, but this is a new shade, this is Rosy Happiness, this is just like a shade darker than Peach Perfect, so I was really excited to pick that up, oh that looks really pretty, it's got a more pinky tone to it, I really like that, that was my first time swatching it, so I'm excited to have that, I love that formula because it really does stay in place all day. Um, okay, and then I have this loose pigment from Wet n Wild. I haven't used this in forever either. This is Kung Fu Lightning. I don't know if this is still available, but I haven't used it, so I thought I'd give it a go. The new L'Oreal Infallible Metallic Paint Eyeshadow in Brass Knuckles. I talked about this in a recent video as well. And then I also have been pulling this back out. This is the J Cat Beauty Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. This is a gorgeous, um, just like peach color. I love to use this just as a one shadow look this time of year. It is just stunning. And this formula, you guys, you can't beat it. It is so, so good. So I definitely recommend that. Um, and then I have some couple primers from e.l.f. I have the Poreless Face Primer. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I'm really just trying to use it up. And then this one is just the, I guess it's like the makeup base or something. I don't know. They don't have the name on it, but this one is really good. It keeps your makeup lasting all day. For foundation, I have two of my oldie but goodies from Maybelline. I have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is a classic foundation. It's so good, you guys. Like, if I don't even want to have to, like, think about it, if it's going to look good or if I'm going to have to touch up or whatever, I just wear this because it's easy and I know it's going to last. And then this is the Dream Cushion. I love this, especially this time of year where it's hot outside and humid. This is just so light on the skin. It's amazing. And then over here, I have some lip products and my setting spray. I just picked this up, this up today as well. This is the Essence Instant Matte Makeup Setting Spray. I did try the Keep It Perfect one, and I wasn't a huge fan of that, but this one I decided to give a go because it is matte, and especially this time of year, I'm super oily. It says with Ever Matte, and it's oil-free. I don't know what Ever Matte is. Um... It says that it can work as a primer, instantly leaves your face non-shiny, perfectly matte, as a setting spray. So, I don't know. We shall see if I like this. Um, as far as lip products go, I have this, which again is from Essence, and it is new. I picked this up today as well. This is the Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss in Happiness in a Bottle. I thought it was just a pretty mauve shade and it was like $2.99 so I thought I would try it. Um, I have a couple like liquid lipsticks. This one is from Ofra. I actually got this sent to me from Octoly and this is in the shade Mocha. Everyone has raved about Ofra's liquid lipstick for years and I have never really kind of bit the bullet and bought any but when I saw it was on Octoly I thought well let me just apply and if I get it it'll be a good time to test. This is one of the best liquid lipstick formulas, if not the best, I have ever tried, you guys. It is so incredibly thin. It feels like you're wearing a cream lipstick. It doesn't just apply like a cream. It feels like a cream, which is just huge. There is a reason that everyone raves about these. Um, I love this shade, too. It's called Mocha, but it's not as brown as I was expecting it to be. It's more of a brownie nude type of shade. Like, isn't that pretty? Especially this time of year with a tan and all those peachy colors on the eyes. I just think it is gorgeous. So again, this is Ofra in Mocha. And then I busted out two of my 
ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips in Dopey and Molly. I love the satin lip formula. I hate the ultra matte. The ultra mattes are way too drying, but the satins are really nice, and I love these colors. And I also grabbed the lip liner Dopey as well. Um, I love this lip liner. The lip liners from ColourPop are really good. Also in here, I have this. This is a Super Stay Eraser from Maybelline. If you wear a liquid lipstick and you're having a hard time getting it off, this is a really nice way to get it off. It's just this nice balm that you can kind of like apply all over the lips and then take a makeup wipe and your liquid lipstick is off like that. So it's really nice to have. I have a couple um, just lip balms. This is the Revlon Kiss Balm in Tropical Coconut and this is the Coconut Milk one from EOS. I know coconut apparently is my thing. Um, and then the last thing I have in here is my Rimmel London Oh My Gloss Oil Tint in Modern Pink. I did also show this in my recent drugstore haul and review video. So that is it, you guys, for this month of my everyday makeup drawer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.